Hey guys, happy Monday and happy March 12th. So I, um, yes, I'm working with a little bedhead here. This is a benefit to working from home. You literally don't have to see people usually. Um, but I volunteered to go live today because today's like D-Day, right? And I call it D-Day because I think it's decision day. Um, I have always been told and I truly believe that going Emerald is a decision. It's you kind of taking a sort of action for your business and it is you saying, you know, I am ready to do this thing. You know, I want to take my business and make it into that five or six figure business that I know is possible um, with a multi million dollar company like Beachbody. Um, so, what I'm talking to you about today is if you're not at Emerald yet, today's your decision day to get yourself there. And I want to give you a few tips on how. Um, if you already are at Emerald, this should be a decision that you make for yourself every single week because you opened your own business because you had confidence in this. Hey, Melanie, and you are sharing this with other people um, under the premise that you opened your own business and you're going places with this and you want them to join you. So, I. Um, wanted to pass along a lot of times we see emerald in 24 hours or emerald in a week or emerald in you know a few days and i wanted to talk about going emerald in an hour because this is really where focused action comes from um you basically have three requirements to be an emerald coach and they're very very simple um, one is to be active which means that you are paying your monthly business fee um, and you have 50 pv every five weeks which means either 50 um, volume points in sales or 50 volume points in purchases. Um, think about it this way, like a year of Beachbody On Demand is 38 volume points. If you are helping two people every five weeks with a year of Beachbody On Demand, you have 50 PV. Think about um, you purchasing Shakeology, that's 90 PV. If you're um, on Shakeology Home Direct every five weeks, then you should be good. So you have to have um, your business fees paid and you have to have 50 PV every five weeks to be an active coach. The second step is to have an active coach on your left leg. Very simple, right? The third coach is, sorry, the third requirement is to have an active coach on your right leg. That is it, you guys. Um, and I know that some people think that that's a very daunting thing, um, but honestly, I went Emerald once I decided to go Emerald. And yes, it took me about two weeks to decide um, because I didn't really have a coach that was telling me what to do. I started doing research on my own and I realized, you know what, in order to make this what I want it to be, I need to have two coaches on my team. I need to go Emerald to unlock team cycle bonuses, to unlock the ability to get leads, to unlock the ability to build a spouse, um, because those are all really huge business building opportunities with this. So that is the basics of how to be Emerald. Now, how are you going to get Emerald? Um, and how are you going to do it in the next hour? I know it might not be the right hour for you, but I honestly think um, I'm going to talk for about 10 minutes. And as soon as we get done with this, you should be able to go do these tasks. And I think it's something that is really just you getting over your damn self and deciding it's gonna happen, right? Okay, so the first thing you're gonna do is if you have a spouse or a significant other, that should be one of your first coaches. And that coach should be placed on your weak leg. Um, reason being is that you have a strong leg that is being built somewhat for you. You want to have your spouse on your weak leg so you can run orders through them and maximize your bonuses. Also, having a spouse on your weak leg gives you a lot of ability to control. Um, it keeps you active in the sense that if you have um, gone Emerald and it's been with two coaches, one being your spouse, you could keep your spouse active to keep you there. And then also you can build your spouse to where your spouse will start to get team cycle bonuses and where your spouse will start to get leads as well if you are building at the right pace. So your spouse, your significant other, that should be one of your first people. Um, the second person or the second group of people you should go speak to are your family members. So I want to put it to you this way because this is very scary for a lot of people. Um, for me, I went to my mom and I just said, we trust me in this and give me a shot. And she did. And you know why? Because I believed it was my business that I was working to build. And I believed it was going to go somewhere. Um, if you haven't asked your family members, you're not believing in yourself yet. Um, if you had a restaurant that you were opening or let's say a juice bar that you were opening or a gym you were even opening, who would you go to first and ask to join? It would be your family, you guys. This is no different. You have joined this company, which is a major company with major um, ability to earn and to grow, and you haven't even asked your family yet. That's not the way you're going to run a business. That's not the way you'd run a business if you had more skin in the game. So don't run this one that way. Um, honestly, you should be able to go to your friends and family members, 
figure out what their needs are with fitness, figure out what their needs are with nutrition, and set them up as one of your coaches. Uh, my mom went from being pre-diabetic to totally fine from drinking Shakeology. Will she follow me in any workouts? No, she won't listen. But she will drink her Shakeology every single day. And that's a big, huge thing for her. Her blood panels are all much better than they used to be. You've got something to offer almost every person in your life, whether it be from a fitness perspective or a nutrition perspective or even a business perspective. So you should be sharing that with them. And another approach that you could take, and we did this with my stepdad because he is very anti beach body. He thinks it's like a pyramid scheme, even though I've explained to him from an attorney's perspective, it's not, is that really we're just putting you here as a coach as a placeholder eventually my goal is to build up that side where he is and if I have a coach that's ready to come in and run with this maybe I can get them to swap out the business with him if he doesn't want to stay there um, and that's totally fine right now I actually run like extra energize orders through him or extra hydrate orders through him that I'm gonna give away as prizes. So he stays an active coach, which keeps my mom at Diamond actually. And it was for him a huge piece of resistance, but it was also for him just saying, listen, I'm growing this thing. You can be a part of it. Or if you don't wanna be a part of it, let us just sign you now. Um, you can use the Shakeology, try it out, which he won't stick with, to be honest. Um, and then after that, maybe it's something where we replace where you are in my organization. And I think that's fine. I, I don't mind looking at family members like placeholders. If you're not with me, then I can find somebody else who is, is the way I see it. But he at least trusted me to get started in the process, and he is in my organization. My sister's in my organization. She uses Shakeology with her kids. Um, my mom, like I said, and then my husband. Um, I have not successfully gotten really anyone on his side of the family to join me. Um, and I honestly, you guys did not approach it this way of saying, I am building this business. Do you want to be a part of it until recently? So that's a conversation that I'm in the process of having, but it should have been had a long time ago because three years ago, they could have had a huge place in my organization and be earning more income. So think about it. I think that's exactly what you need to do. And that's how you need to approach it. It's not a commitment long term, but it's something where they can say, I believe in you for now. And I want to see where you can grow this thing. So do not hesitate in asking those people and treat it the same way. Say, if I owned a restaurant, would you join me? Would you come give me your business? Would you be one of my patrons? And they probably would say yes. And this is going to be no different. You're going to explain to them why. The third group of people, um, and you should be writing a list as I'm talking because this should trigger things for you of, oh, like this person could potentially use this or this person could, could potentially use this. But the third group of people are going to be your friends who are hard workers. Um, you know, I firmly believe that this can be a beneficial business. It could be an amazing thing for a friendship because you can run it together. And if you have hardworking friends who have big goals like you do for their family, this is a no-brainer for them. Um, they can join hands with you. They can run groups with you. They can invite people with you. And you guys can honestly give them the benefit of saying we're doing this together whenever you're inviting people to join you. And I think that's a really incredible thing. Um, you just go to these people and you say, listen, I'm doing this with this new business. Um, and let's say you're here like Kelsey, I'm just going to call you out for a sec. And you've been a coach for a while and you're kind of like reigniting your business. I think you go to these people and you say, listen, I am really committing to this and I want to make this into something huge. I want you to be the first person to join me in this, or I want you to be the second person to join me in this, or I want you to be the person that locks arms with me and runs this with me because I think this could be incredible for you and this can be incredible for me and we could continue to reap benefits of it while helping other people. That is simple, you guys. You don't have to overthink it. You just ask. And what's the worst that they could say? No. But you asked. And you could follow up with those people later. And you asked that they trust in you. They, you asked that they believe in you. And you asked that they gave you a shot. And I promise if you can come up with a list of, say, two people right now that you could go to and talk to, to them about that, you awesome, Kelsey. You can have the ability to go Emerald in an hour. It is simple. Um, and I have a lot of people who kind of push back on some of these things like, you know, if I sign my spouse, I don't want to be locked into paying for Shakeology for him every single month. Well, my response to that is I get boxes that are packets for Colin. He drinks it sometimes. He doesn't drink it sometimes. I sell those packets for Shakeology challenges. If you want to put in the effort and you want to put in the work, you can make this your thing, you guys. And having your spouse at the top of your organization makes perfect sense. I actually pay make people PayPal me the money for those packets. I ship them out to them. 
and then they can do Shakeology challenges with me, and I can cover the cost of any expense of his box of Shakeology. You don't want to do like a second home direct order with him? Don't don't worry about it. Like just sign him up that way at first. You could get the two Success Club points, and then maybe the following month you switch over to Energize or you switch over to Hydrate or something else that really um, benefits you more. You know, um, so don't ever think it. What you do right now just gets you to the next step. And going Emerald every single week in your business, every single month in your business, every single um, quarter in your business multiple times is what gets you a five- and six-figure business. So commit to it. Make a decision. Go ask those people. And what's the worst that can happen? And if you get objections that you need help with, please post them below. Um, we will be removing people from the group that have not completed the tracker and that have not gone Emerald. But I will say this, if you're showing up and you're making effort and you're not quite there yet, that's okay. We will make an exception for you. It's not all or nothing, but you have to show up, like we said in the beginning, and you have to do the work. So take this and go now. If you're still watching me, you should be going to message people. Bye, guys.